Good morning, guys. Here we are at Wednesday. I thought that since Monday I read a book for first graders, I would read a book for second graders today. And this is a book that goes along with their science unit, and they are studying animals. And so I thought that I would read From Caterpillar to Butterfly. And it's a perfect spring book. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. And that's when the caterpillar changes into the butterfly. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. So this, and then right here it says a butterfly is an insect. The egg is tiny. It is the size of a pinhead. So over here it tells us about the butterfly being an insect. And then here it shows the tiny little egg. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat. So it will grow and grow and grow. So it says the mother, mother butterfly lays her eggs on plants that the caterpillar will eat. These are called host plants. And then over here it says the caterpillar is also called the larvae. And so here's the little caterpillars and they're eating the leaves and they're gonna get fat. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillars. Each day it is bigger. The caterpillar eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. So here's their caterpillar in a jar and they have the um, leaves in there and it's eating and eating and eating and it eats for 12 to 14 days. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down its back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. And so as it gets bigger, its skin doesn't get bigger with it. And so, almost like a snake, how the skin comes off and it has new skin, the caterpillar is the same way. The skin will come off and it has new skin and it says it'll do that four or five times in that 12 or 14 days. That's a lot of times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. So it was growing and growing. So it's almost as big as its little finger. That's the pinky finger. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. And remember, molt, molting means whenever its skin comes off. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. So here it shows the button of silk on the twig and then here it shows the chrysalis and I know that a lot of you call it a cocoon but a caterpillar gets in a chrysalis and it says the chrysalis is also called the pupa and here it is 
their caterpillar inside the jar. Every day the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. It says the caterpillar stays in the chrysalis about one week. Will our, will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of the chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. Oh, it's still in the chrysalis and it stays, it stays in there for about a week. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. So here it is, it's coming out of the chrysalis. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs onto the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon, our butterfly will be ready to fly. In two hours, the wings are dry and the butterfly is ready to fly. So here it is. It comes out all wet and it has to dry off. So it stays on the chrysalis and flaps its wings until it dries off. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out of our jar and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. So it can't live in the jar, it's not big enough. So they let it outside so it can be with all the grass and the um, flowers. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube <laughs> called a proboscis. Maybe even adults can't pronounce all the words. Maybe it's a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. And it says painted lady butterflies sip nectar from certain flowers. They like thistle, burdock, zinnia, butterfly bush, and mint. There, there's the butterfly and it's sipping nectar, which is the sweet stuff from inside of flowers. How many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. And it has the monarch butterfly, the black swallowtail, cabbage white, dog face butterfly, common blue, and buckeye. So there are some different kinds. So I hope that you really enjoyed learning about all the different kinds of butterflies. And if we were in the classroom, we used to get the little teeny caterpillars and we used to watch them turn into butterflies in our second grade classroom. But since you don't get to do that, I wanted to share a book with you about how caterpillars turn into butterflies. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to take your AR test. Bye guys.